Hello and welcome to this color analysis session. It is a pleasure to finally meet you. How are you doing today? Excellent. So we did speak via email and you explained to me what you would like to achieve during this color analysis session. Mm -hmm. So you were looking to create a bit more of a concise wardrobe you have a lot of clothes and you would like to eliminate a good bit of it. Mm, you want to be a bit more minimalistic. Okay, we can help you with that. The problem is you don't know what clothes to eliminate, what colors look best on you. Okay, well I'm going to help you make it a bit more easier to make that capsule wardrobe that you will absolutely fall in love with. That way, when you are eliminating clothes to donate, uh, you can just pick it up and know right off the bat, this color isn't for me, or this color is for me, and you can put it in the eliminate or keep pile. Now, I've been doing this for years, and I've realized that most of us already have the articles of clothing in our wardrobe. We already have what we need, uh, but oftentimes we get a bit stagnant in our styling, in the clothes that we gravitate towards, uh, because perhaps they're comfortable, right? Comfort is key though. Comfort is key. Uh, or you may have some color biases. You may gravitate towards the color blue. And so when you take a look at your wardrobe, you just grab that blue shirt and you leave all the other colors behind and they get lost in your wardrobe. Um, many times we may associate a color with maybe a bad memory and um, we want to change that. So we want to leave those color biases behind, okay? Um, sometimes we don't even know we're doing it. So, I have been image consulting for over seven years now. I have image consulted for businesses, celebrities, and everyone in between. And I love elevating one's wardrobe and giving you a boost of confidence. Now, I also want to say, even though we are going to figure out what colors look best on you, um, that doesn't mean that you solely have to wear these colors, you know. Style is subjective and at the end of the day, wear what makes you feel the best. I'm just giving you a little key, a little, um, a little advice, but again, take all this with a grain of salt um, and we can begin. Now, I know that I did ask you some basic questions via email. You did send me back the answers, so thank you for that. But I am going to ask you a couple of questions uh, as well. Nothing crazy, just a couple questions, nothing too intrusive. And I will be taking a look at your uh, facial coloring, your skin tone, as well as your eye color, your hair color, all of that, um, you know, goes towards what color season you are, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little close. I'm not gonna touch your face or anything like that. Don't you worry. Okay. Can you move your face off to the side? And now move your face off to the side, just for a sec. Perfect. Okay. So I'll just be jotting down my findings. So writing down your facial coloring and your skin tone, which is bright. And clear. And is this your natural hair color? Okay. 
so I would consider your hair a medium golden blonde. Would you agree? Perfect. Now I'm going to be taking a little pen light. You've probably seen these pen lights when you go to the doctors. So I want you to take a look right at my nose and I'm going to be using this pen light to take a look at your eye color, okay? So don't move your head. I'm just going to be moving this light side to side and up and down and on this side here doing the same thing. Excellent. You have gorgeous eyes, by the way. Wow. Okay. So your eyes are definitely a bluish green. Dare I say turquoise? Definitely turquoise. Very striking, for sure. And I was also taking a look at the flecks in your eyes. You have a little bit of yellow. Yellow flex of color in your iris, which is beautiful. Okay. Now for the questions. Now, when sun tanning, does your skin burn easily, tan slowly, or tan fast? Mm -hmm. Burn easily. And which shade of lipstick do you prefer? Pink, red, coral, beige, or just keeping it clear? Coral and even red? Okay. What do you have more of in your jewelry box? Silver, gold? You don't really have a preference, so. You have both. You even have rose gold. I love rose gold. Okay. Which colors would you wear if you could only choose three? Coral, buttermilk, and bronze. Charcoal, dusty rose, and turquoise. Ivory, tomato red, and turquoise. Lemon yellow, fuchsia, or mint green. You're going to go with the ivory, tomato, red, and turquoise. Okay. There's no wrong answer. So right now, we're going to break down your three truest colors, which is actually quite simple. I don't even need to drape for this process. So these are your base or neutrals in an outfit, and we have three bases. So the first base is going to be the color found in the ring around your iris, and it is your most formal and powerful neutral, your version of black. For you, since you have the bluish green, the ring around your iris is a beautiful moss green to deep green, okay? But I'm gonna go more for the moss green, okay? Now, the second base is the color taken from the darkest shade of your hair. It is a warmer and less formal neutral, your version of brown. Now, because of your hair coloring, I'm going to go with medium brown, okay? Now the third base is the color seen in the lightest version of your hair. A playful and informal neutral, your version of khaki. Which that is going to be a light golden brown or like an ivory light shade of khaki, okay? Perfect. Now we can actually start the draping process. 
Now we are looking for the colors that harmonize with you. These are colors that are not going to distract someone from looking at your face. If a color is so distracting that the first thing that one notices when they look at you is what you're wearing, then the color is a bit too overpowering and it is no longer harmonizing with you, okay? Again, we're going to let go of any color biases and an article of clothing should always enhance your features. It should always uh, bring you straight to your face, straight to your eyes, okay? If it's too distracting, it's not the one for you. As we drape these colors, you're going to get a good indication whether you are warm or cool. And again, what proper season you fall into. Uh, if the color suits you, again, your eyes are always going to travel to the face. So, we are going to begin with the draping process. And I always like to start with our base colors, okay, like black, white. So let's begin. Okay. Here we have our black. Okay. And black isn't bad on you. So I'm actually going to put black in the yes pile. There just might be better options, but black isn't bad. Okay. Next up, we have a gray. I like to put gray and black together because sometimes gray might be a bit better for you. And I do like gray on you, so I'm also going to put this in the yes pile. Okay, now let's try white. This is a bright white. Okay. I'm going to pass on white. I think we could do better. Okay, so next up is ivory. And ivory definitely suits you much better. So that makes sense. You love wearing red lips, so I'm pretty sure red is going to look amazing on you. Yes, this is a beautiful color on you. It just complements your features. Makes your eyes stand out, your hair stand out. This is a deeper red. This isn't a bad color on you. I feel like you can get away with many different reds. Um, I do prefer the more traditional red on you, but I think you can get away with this. Uh, but it has a bit more purple in it. So I'm just going to put it in the past pile for now. Navy. 
I personally feel like a brighter blue would probably suit you best. Not bad. Um, I feel like you can't go wrong with blue in general because we all wear denim, right? But for now, I'm just going to put in the past pile. And this is a deep green. I think greens are going to be your best friend. Uh, I'm going to put this in the yes pile for now. Because this is going to be a great dark neutral for you. Now we're getting down to the neutrals. Okay. This is like a peachy camel type of shade. But if you warmer beach, and I'm going to say yes. There's probably a reason why you have neutrals. I do like this one as well. Um, it is a bit more on the cooler side compared to the last one. But I'm also going to say yes. I do like that. This is very similar to the last one. So same. They're slightly different. I had to double check. But I'm gonna say yes to that. Ooh, this one even better. It has a bit more gold in it. It's a bit more bolder, neutral. I really like this one as well on you. And I just have a feeling that these types of warm neutrals are just going to look great on you. Yeah. So we have this darker brown and this medium brown. Really like this on you. So yes, to both of those and we have some yellows now yellow does suit you this may be a bit more pale of a yellow so I'm just going to pass on this one Now this one's a bit more, it's also pale, but it's a bit more warmer. Uh, hmm. I'm going to pass on that one as well. This one, on the other hand, looks absolutely amazing on you. I feel like you can handle some punchy colors. Let's try this one. This one is quite a bright yellow, but it has again a lot of gold in it. And that suits you really nicely. Again, another beautiful yellow on you. This one is also really nice as well. Yes to that. I know they all look so similar, but I promise you they are slightly different. We are moving towards like the pinks, the corals, this is a light pink. Do you see it has a slight peachy hue? I 
This is nice. It's not bad. I do like it on you. Um, put it in the maybe pile. I feel like it might be a bit too light. Let's see. Now we're talking. This is more your style for sure. I love this color on you. Okay, let's try this one. This is a deeper coral for sure. And I also love this. What do you think? It's so nice. Now we have some oranges. Oh yes, oranges are definitely going to be your best friend. Love. This is nice too. I do like the other orange bit better, uh, but I do like this one. It's not bad. So I'm gonna say yes. This next orange might be a bit too orange. Yeah, I like the corals, beaches. And the more muted oranges on you. Okay, now these are the pinks. Yeah. So this is like a pastel pink. Um, a bit too, a bit too. Now. Comparing it to the other one that was also kind of pink, I do really like this one. Now that I'm putting them together, so I'm gonna put this back in the yes pile. Okay, this next pink, I find this to be. Quite cool tone. It's like a bubblegum pink. It doesn't suit you. And this one here. Again, quite cool tone. I pass on this one as well. This next one is like a corally mauve. This is really pretty. I do like this color on you. So I'm just going to do this one. And this one is quite a punchy pink. But again, I feel like you can handle the brightness and punchiness of this color. Not many people can, but you can. Okay. Now moving on to the purple serum. This one is quite light. I feel like you would look good in purple, but we have to find the right purples. Again, this is quite pastel. You like pastels? Well, we can still make pastels work. Okay, let's try some of these purples.
I think this is a purple that definitely would suit you. So, put this in the yes pile. Matter of fact, let me compare these two. Yeah, I definitely like this one a bit better. I'm gonna pass on this one. Sometimes we really have to compare the fabric swatches to really get a good feel. But these very, like, brighter purples look really, really nice on you. I love this purple on you. I think this is the best purple yet, in my opinion. Wow. Stunning. We have a deeper purple and surprisingly I really like this one on you as well. I like a lot of the mid-tone colors on you but I feel like you can still get away with some semi-deep colors as well. We're going to move on to some blues now. This may be a bit too pale on you. Okay. We're getting a bit more brighter. I do like this one. I'll put that in the maybe pile for now, but I feel like that has. It's a bit of a like a turquoise which, I mean, your eyes are turquoise, so I love it, but I feel like, let me see. Okay, let's compare. Comparing the two, I actually quite like this one a bit better on you. So I'm going to put this in the S pile for sure. This color definitely complements your eyes a bit more, makes them stand out, whereas this one may be a bit more monochromatic, and so we, we like a good contrast, and that's what we're noticing here, so. Next up, we have in this blue. This is gorgeous. Okay, it's a bit more deeper, it's a bit more brighter. A true ocean blue, I guess, or cyan. It's stunning. I'm definitely gonna say yes to this one. And then we have some dustier blues. Dustier colors definitely fall in the like, summer season, but periwinkles are definitely that beautiful neutral that works with every season. So this one is kind of like a no-brainer. It always looks good. It looks good on you. And this one also is kind of like a periwinkle, like a deeper periwinkle. So again, another no-brainer. It looks beautiful on you. I love the contrast. Again, it's more of a punchier blue and these punchier colors just look fantastic on you. Okay, so next up we have this lighter sage green. I'm actually going to put it against another sage green that I have here. So, I do like this one a bit better, um, but I feel Too 
I feel like we want to go for something a bit more punchier of a green. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, let's try this green here. And now we're talking. This is a gorgeous shade of green. You're probably like, what? <laughs> I know this isn't a color that most people wear, but honestly, gorgeous. You in this color dress. And let's try it in this one. Gorgeous. Yet again. Yet again. Stunning. 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 Uh, just to compare because they do look quite similar. This one is a bit more brighter. Okay. But you can see, again, this one's a bit more deeper. A bit more punchier. This one's a bit more of a pastel. I actually... I think this one will work even better. But I'll still keep this in the yes pile. Because again, I think greens just look amazing on you. This is like a Kelly green and it's stunning on you as well. Again, greens, you just can't go wrong. Remember that. This one is a bit more of a olive green definitely warmer. I do think the much more punchier greens, the more truer greens on you. Okay, just a couple more greens and I'm gonna let you know what season you are. This looks very similar to the Kelly Green. It's even more so of a true green. Think of the color of grass. And that's a yes. And then we have this deeper green. And I like this green on you. Um, I think the Kelly green, the more brighter greens suit you best. Uh, but again, I could see you wearing this as just a neutral. Like, some slacks in this color would be really good. Uh, I'm gonna say yes for now. Maybe a tad bit too dark. But it doesn't look bad. Then we have this one here, which is like a deeper army green, or like a, a, a deeper khaki green. Uh, this one's a bit too muddled much of a muddy kind of green for my liking on you. So I'm going to pass on those. I'm going to put all your fabric swatches together and then I'm going to let you know what your season is. So these are all of the colors that suit you best. You have such a wonderful selection. And I'm going to tell you what season you have fallen into. So you are a spring, and the subcategory of spring that you fall in is true spring, also known as warm spring. Let me tell you a little bit about true spring. And I'll break down late to spring, true spring, with bright spring. So, late spring is the hue neutral warm. The value is light and the chroma is medium bright. Okay. You fall into true spring, which your hue is warm, your value is medium, and your chroma is mostly bright. And then we have bright spring. The hue is neutral warm, the value is medium, and the chroma is very bright. And you fall dead center. Okay. You are a true spring if the primary color aspect of your overall appearance is warm, 
and the secondary aspect is bright. Your skin, eyes, and hair have a fresh and clear appearance. Instead of blending, they contrast each other. You have a medium contrast. True Springs can handle a lot of color, and they look best in contrasted colors, which we did notice during the draping process. Now, take a look at your veins, and what color do you see? Mm -hmm. Your veins are a green shade, meaning you are of a warm undertone. I always like checking the veins and also doing the gold and silver test last as I don't want any biases as I do my draping process. So I'm going to put these silver hoops right next to you and you can see how, I mean everything looks great on you, but you can see how they don't really melt with your whole complexion. They do just stand out, which is good too. What's that did you want? Now, let's take a look at the gold. Now, let's see. The gold meshes with your complexion and harmonizes. It just becomes one with your overall look, enhancing what you already have, which is beautiful features. Now, True Spring is the color season reminiscent of sunshine, tropical islands with turquoise water, yellow sand, lush green leaves, and juicy fruits. The colors are warm and fresh, taking in light of the warming spring sun. Your palette contains the saturated colors of spring flowers, freshly grown grass and green leaves. Spring at its peak is true spring. Just a few simple rules, but again, take it with a grain of salt. When it comes to true springs, you don't want anything too cool or too muted. The rule is to have at least one bright color in your outfit and avoid too much of a neutral combination as it might just wash you out and to avoid anything that is too monochromatic. So we can show you a few examples here. Now here is a breakdown of our four seasons and the associated palettes and a breakdown of each subcategory. So here is our spring. We have our clear spring, warm spring, and light spring. We have our summer, soft summer, cool summer, and light summer. We have our autumn, soft autumn, warm autumn, and deep autumn. And lastly, we have our winter, our deep winter, cool winter, and clear winter. So, if you take a look at the warm spring, you will notice diagonally is the warm autumn. Warm autumn and warm spring, which is what you are, share similar tones of color. Yours is a bit more punchy and bright, whereas autumn is a bit more subdued. But both are in the warm category and both have similar contrast, which would be medium contrast. So, there's that. Now, here is a breakdown of the three subcategories and the palettes associated with each category. Again, this isn't all 
colors, but just a little example. And you can see here that light spring looks really great in the pastels, and bright spring looks really great in the yellows and corally reds. And warm true spring, which is what you are, looks great in the greens and the more uh, muted corals. Not too muted, but you know, the peaches and the corals. So there is that. And again, here is the color palette for the warm true spring. I'll be sharing some more palettes with you. So here is warm spring. Warm spring's golden tones and her light coloring lets her wear bright and crisp colors. The hair warm Gold blonde to coppery red or gold. The eyes, warm blue, olive green, light hazel. In your case, you do have those turquoise eyes, which also fall into the warm spring category. It isn't stated here, but. And then we have skin, ivory, golden beige, or even bronze with warmth. Here we have some of your best colors here. See some of the blues, purples, again, peaches, corals, greens, and teal, and some neutrals, and then the worst colors, muted or dull colors. So we have the eggplant color, the charcoal gray, and some pastels. I think that a lighter gray would look good on you though. Um, yeah, but I would have to agree. And then, so again, pure and warm colors with moderate saturation are going to be best for you. So, let me go ahead before I share some articles of clothing. I'm going to show you this swatch palette, which actually has a breakdown of all of the color names that will look really good on you. I love this particular palette because you can literally search for the color name and purchase outfits that way. So we have our spring, and here we go. So we have, of course, gold, which we know that gold looks amazing on you. Okay. We have ivory. We have creme. more of a buttery ivory. We have stone. We have taupe. So we are seeing some of those grays. We have medium gray. Pewter. Light navy. So navy is look good, but just nothing too dark. Khaki. Camel. Golden brown. Coffee brown. Beautiful. We have, do we have two coffee browns? Yes, we do. We have dark brown, warm pastel pink. This is like a salmon pink. It's not quite, it is pastel, but it's still punchy. That 
might be best suited for light spring, but I think it would look beautiful on you as well. Light peach. This doesn't really look like a light peach in my opinion. Then we have peach. Yes, to peach. Light orange. I love oranges on you. Coral. Love corals on you. Mango. This is really nice. Salmon. Absolutely. Warm pink. Clear red. Love this red on you. Pumpkin. Buttermilk. True blue. We have a deep periwinkle. Bright periwinkle. We have a violet. And then we have purple. Clear aqua. Emerald turquoise, light teal, we have sky blue, medium blue, lime, kelly green, blue-green, light moss, bronze, light aqua, buff, light clear gold, bright golden yellow, Mary Gold Pastel Yellow Green Bright Yellow Green I think that is the last color of the palette So, you have such a beautiful selection Now This is something that I also like to share with my clients. And you are a warm blonde. So, this is from Jill Kirsch Color. She creates these palettes for hair colors. And you are a warm blonde. And these are the colors here that suit your hair color. And I want to show you that her palette perfectly aligns with the true spring that you are. You see the beautiful Kelly Green and the deeper green shades of freshly cut grass in the springtime and we see the sky blues, the aquatic blues, the dustier periwinkle blue, we see the buttermilk, we see the beautiful shades of purple, we have our neutrals, Shade of gray that suits you. It's like a pewter. It's like a green gray. And we see our peaches and corals and pinks. So. Just another confirmation that these colors suit you really, really well. And we're also going to be taking home this palette as well. 
Again, another useful tool. This is the seasonal color fan from Color Me a Season. And here you can see a spring color bouquet. Springs red, springs yellows, springs blue, springs green, and springs purples. We have springs gold, springs tan, springs apricot, springs yellow green, and springs turquoise. We have springs coral, springs pink, springs rust. Springs yellow brown, springs navy. I love this color palette. I'm autumn, and this color palette makes me very happy. So we have some lipstick reds. So great if you're trying to find your lipstick for you. And then we have a breakdown of some. Marsh reds. And we just keep transitioning. So we have some peaches and oranges. Some neutrals and like warm browns. More cool tone browns. Just again a beautiful selection of shades that will help you discover the perfect colors for your wardrobe. But luckily with spring you have a lot really to choose from. Next up, before I share the articles of clothing, I do want to show you this color wheel. This certainly comes in handy, and this is going to help you figure out which colors are complementary within your color palette, within your season. So, for instance, when choosing a neutral suit, pants, or skirt, find the color on the outer ring of the selector, move the front wheel to show a main color that you like that goes with the neutral. Place it in a direct line with the chosen neutral. The area at each side of the main color shows a second and third color that will go well with your main color and neutral choices. So for instance, our neutral is going to be this shade of brown. It's going to be khakis. And then we have a purple blouse as our main color. Now, if we go down below, we see that green complements this purple. So you can use this green as a purse in your outfit or as a blazer. And then we also see that we have some split complementary colors. And these could be used for certain accents like a scarf or jewelry pieces, anything like that. Again, you know, take these things with a grain of salt. They're just here as a guide. So, and there's that. But it's quite nifty as you can move the color wheel, change your neutral, you can see all of the different neutrals up at the top. And you can change your main color to be, let's see, let's change it to be a turquoise, and then we can go with ivory, and you can see that the aquatic blues match well with the salmon pinks. Again, we have some split complementary colors with like the golden shades and the reds and the purples. Okay. I 
have some more examples for you. So this is a wardrobe palette here for the warm spring. We have the base color being denim. We have two neutrals. We have wheat. And we have raw sienna. And here we have another base color. This is a Georgia peach. And we have two accents. Amber and tomato. These colors look great together and again are part of your palette and complement you. Some more outfit breakdowns here. Okay, now you do see that we have a neutral outfit and you can always amp it up by putting a brighter blazer on or a brighter purse to break up the monotony and make it less of just a plain neutral outfit. And next we have more warmer tones as you can see. A lot of the golden shades and the greens and the corals just look amazing. And this is more of some colorful outfit choices. Again, we love our corals, we love our beaches. We also love our brighter blues. And we have some more great examples. I love the shade of orange. I also love the shade of green. Very beautiful. And your eyes are very similar to hers. So, those are just some outfit examples, but I will give you some real time examples here. So, let me just grab everything. Very excited to share these pieces of clothing with you. They might not be exactly your style, but it's just an example to get you started, to give you some inspiration. So, I have a lot of tops, as tops are very crucial to your season because the color that you wear closest to your face is what people see first. And uh, that is the color that you mostly want to get right. So, the first article of clothing is actually a light piece of outerwear. It is corduroy. I love playing with texture when it comes to building an outfit. And I love this like velvety corduroy. Um, but this is a beautiful shade of periwinkle. And as I have stated, this color is a no-brainer. It looks good with everyone. It is a bit on the dustier side, but it's still going to look great as, as you can see, this color here has colors within your color palette. We have this like golden yellow and the shade of blue that is part of your color palette. It's like a sky blue. When wearing this, I would definitely wear perhaps a yellow very similar to this shade underneath. And this uh, coat, if you will, also has some ivory as well, which looks great on you. The cuff also features these two colors as well, and it's just overall a vibe. So, probably not what you expected that I would choose for your color palette, but, you know, I like something a bit different, and you can do a lot with it. So, that's the first article. Next up, we have 
another surprising piece. Now, I chose this piece because you did state that you like your pastels, you still like your cool tones. I know that you're a true spring, and true spring offers a lot of a warmth in the palette, but you do have some cooler tones that you can play with, like the blues and the purples, and again, this has some ivory as well, so. I find that you can do a lot with this piece. You can accessorize it in many different ways. And you can choose many of these accent shades that are within this little fluffy coat. And you can incorporate it in your own. It's a fun way to use your color palette. You don't have to just use one solid color. And again, it's unexpected. It's still going to look really good on you. And you can do a lot with it. So, there's that. This one is not going to be shocking in any way, but of course we have to go with this beautiful shade of salmon. It's like a peachy salmon and it's going to look absolutely stunning on you. Anything coral, anything peachy is going to look amazing. This might just be your best color. Now, this piece offers some warm pearls and it's very important if you're going to work with pearls since you are in the warmer side you want to work with pearls that are more on the ivory side than they are on the like pure white side but again working with different textures are always really fun so I love the frills and the laziness of this blouse but it's really, really quite beautiful. It's a bit of a statement, yes. And such a beautiful color on you, so. Next up, I chose this piece because I know that you like your pastels. However, this is not too light where it's going to wash you out. It has still a bit of peachiness to it, just slightly just enough to make it work. Plus, it has a pattern to it. It has these lovely oversized daisies, and in the center we see the shade of the goldenrod that just looks really, really nice on you. So, I find that if this was just a plain pink turtleneck, I probably would not have chose it for you. But this pattern here certainly helps it out, and it's going to look amazing on you, so. And here we have a lovely shade of blue. It's a bit of a sky blue, it's a bit of a periwinkle. But this is just the right amount of punchiness that you, as a true spring, need. Plus, look at these sleeves. They're insane in the best way. And I love little ruffle details at the cuff. So beautiful. We also have some ruffly details at the neck. This is certainly going to just enhance your features, enhance your eyes. It's very, very fun. Again, you could do a lot with this in terms of layering it. You could even like layer it with a vest. And the sleeves could be like the main show. This piece is just really, really fun. Very fresh, bright, the right amount of contrast that will work for you. And I absolutely love a good, warm, neutral on you. Again, you coincide with Warm Autumn, and Warm Autumns look really good 
in these like terracotta shades. This is slightly more muted and it's just gonna look stunning. It's also a neutral as well, but it is a fun neutral. I would not consider this uh, plain or boring in any way. Plus, this has a lot going on. Again, we have some more pearls that are bedazzled. The sleeves are lacy. We have a nice floral design. Some ruffling. So, very, very fun. Great piece to style with. Puffy sleeves. You just can't go wrong. I know you love your reds. And I will say that you can still pull off a good red lipstick. And maybe rock a blouse like this. So, you look great in true bright reds. So, a good solid red would be the way to go. And I love this one, especially with the neutral buttons as well. Very, very fun. You can leave this open or closed with maybe like an ivory cami inside or a cobalt blue cami inside. Limit. So next up, this is another no-brainer. Beautiful Kelly Green. It's bright, it's fresh, it's literally the color of spring, so you can't go wrong. And then perhaps pairing it with a medium denim like this. I love the shade of blue. And I think this shade of denim would best suit a spring. The shade of blue denim and this shade of green just really complements one another very, very nicely. This is a very, like, loose flowing blouse. I would tuck it in to my denim. I wouldn't leave it loose. And it just would look super, super chic. So because that denim blue and that green blouse is quite contrasty, I would break it down and balance it out with a neutral bag like this. Again, these neutrals are part of your color palette, so it all makes sense. And lastly, we have another outfit. So we have some pants here. They're flowy, they're stretchy, they're fun. Uh, they're a bit fancy, but they're so comfortable. And they are a beautiful shade of Obviously, they're gonna look amazing on you. Now, for the top, I would do something like this. This is a ivory top. It's very fun. Again, you know how I feel about the sleeves. I love sleeves. So, I would wear this ivory blouse and I would tuck it in as well. I'm a fan of tucking things in. And I love ivory and coral together. I think they look so beautiful. Now with this outfit, I do have some shoes to go with it. So I have some fun sneakers. As I like mixing uh, more fancier pieces with more casual pieces. These are some ivory pumas. Very, very nice. They have gum bottoms. So bit of that neutral on the bottom as well. And they even have some rose gold on the back. They're very, very nice sneakers. And I think that they will look great with that outfit as we have um, a bit of that rose gold that kind of matches the coral pants and ivory. So it's slightly matchy matchy. But again, you can balance it out with something a bit more punchy, like this Kate Spade purse. That again, it's coral, but it's a 
brighter coral. Okay. And I love incorporating fun pieces. It's all about having fun with the pieces that you have in your collection. But if you don't want to go coral on coral, you can choose something like this, which is a bit different, but again, it offers all of the colors from your color palette, and it's a nice pop of green, unexpected. You can even throw on maybe like a, some green studs to mix it up a bit. That way you pull everything together and it makes sense, and people don't have to wonder why is she wearing a green purse with that outfit. But again, have fun. Just have and lastly, let's talk about makeup. So I'm going to show you makeup for true spring. Okay. So here we have the color dimensions, which you are all the way on the warm spectrum. We have the value being light to dark. You are in the light spectrum, okay? Not too light. And then we have the chroma. And you are way at the end here with the bright. Okay? So we have the color palette, which we talked about your color palette. Here we have complexion makeup. We have rose porcelain, pale honey, golden medium, olive beige, golden sand, and golden tan. And for bronzers, we have light peach, light gold, and medium gold. For eye makeup, these are the eyeshadows that look really good on you. I also find that uh, peaches also look really good on you as well. We have your ivory, pale khaki, cedar, cocoa, pale bronze, warm brown, honey, light mauve, cobalt blue, teal, chartreuse, and pine green. They're all colors that look great on you. For mascara, warm brown or deep brown, eyeliner, we have cedar, brown, warm brown, pine green, dark green, and cobalt blue. And for lip and cheek makeup, we have light peach, soft peach, dark peach, warm coral, coral, and dark coral for the blush. And for the lipstick, we have peach, warm coral, salmon, vermilion, watermelon red, and crimson. So just take a look here. Okay, a little breakdown for you. Now, I won't be putting any complexion products on your face. I'll be adding some color to your face. Some shadow, some blush, some lipstick. So, here's another example. And as I stated, I love the peaches and the warm browns. This is such a beautiful staple, and as you can see, the warm peaches just make her complexion, make her features just stand out. Absolutely stunning. The natural makeup of the warm true spring color type is warm, fresh, and shiny. Try to use at least one more warm and bright color for your everyday makeup as well. You can achieve this look with a warm lipstick and a brown eye makeup. You will be amazing with creamy blush and gold highlighter. You can wear boldly colored makeup without a clown effect. Brown is a great neutral eyeshadow, but keep the color peachy. Leave a rich deep brown for the auto types. The citrus tones of pink, grapefruit, and orange are beautiful lipstick shades and you can use coral all over your face. The lip gloss is great because of the 
brilliant finish. If you want to wear a bronzer, look for peach and golden colors. Um, you can use a highlighter instead of contouring. You can choose cream, beige, and brown for your eye makeup. The lighter and more colorful shades are also wonderful as well. Uh, the most beautiful blush and lip colors of warm spring are shades of red, peach, and coral. The best lipstick colors are warm, medium intensity, and not too dark. Okay. But I'm going to show you what I have picked out. So in terms of shadows, I have here a Kaleidos palette. And this is the Futurism Sashimi City Palette. I chose this one because of its beautiful warm shades. They're not too dark and they do lean quite peachy as well, especially this one. This one here, very, very nice. And we have some good dimension of mattes and glitters as well. So this is a beautiful warm, fun, neutral palette. Next up we have the Anastasia palette. And this palette here again offers some warmth and it also offers some beautiful shades of green. This palette looks like a muted autumn palette, which is perfect because you share similar colors to the autumn season. So I find that this is beautiful and refreshing. And this is quite similar as well. But this is the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. Very beautiful. I love the peachy pinks in this palette. And if you want to try some colorful shades, then this Oma Coming to America palette would be great. So these would be like accent shades. But I think we're going for a more neutral look. And we can try this palette here because it's very, very simple. And this is the Peach Madeline palette from Kaja. It's one of the beauty bento. This warm champagne. We have a peachy, sparkly shade. And the main event, this beautiful matte, warm peachy shade. So we're going to go ahead and do eyes first and we'll move on to the next category. So, again, this is going to be a super, super, super easy. I shall look. We're going to start with our matte. And this is going to go all over the lid, up into the crease. So close your eyes. And I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. And here lid and up into the crease. This mat just blends so effortlessly. Looks so beautiful with your turquoise eyes. Okay, close your eyes. Again on this side. All over your lid, 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 and up, up, up. Up into the crease here. Wind. Be 
beautiful. Now we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz. So I'm going to take this middle shimmery shade. And we're going to apply it to your lid as well. So, close your eyes. And I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Tap the shimmer in. And tap, 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 tap. Tapping the shimmer in. Tap, 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 so beautiful. Now, this is like a more chunkier shimmer, okay? And we're gonna take a more precise brush. It's also a bit creamy as well. Okay, and this is gonna go dead center, so close your eyes. Excellent. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and take this small little pencil brush. I'm going to run it on your lower lash line. So look up. And I'm going to just lightly blend. Lightly, lightly. Lightly blend this in your lower lash line. Okay. Give you a nice blown out, diffused look. Very, very subtle. Now I'm going to add a slight wing. This is from Fenty Beauty. And this is a nice warm brown. It's in the shade Big Trouble. So, close your eyes. I'm just going to give you a flick, 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 flick. And line, 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 line. And connect, 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 connect. And again, a flick. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes in Dream Pop. This is a warm brown. So it's going to look beautiful with your eyes. And when I say blink, you blink. Wonderlust. Beautiful. Okay. So, in Mykonos. Mykonos. This is the Wonderlust blush in Mykonos. We have two Huda Beauty Glowish um, Cheeky Vegan blushes. This is Sassy Saffron. This is what it looks like. Like a muted coral, but I also have the blush and caring coral, which is a brighter, lighter coral. So you can see the difference there. Both beautiful, and then we have item beauty blush and light. It's verified. So, this is more of like a mauve shade, but still along the same line. It's still quite warm. They all look so very similar, I know. We also have Freck. This is the Cheek Slime in Cuffed. This is a cream. 
creamy type of product, which might be nice if that's what it looks like. Very beautiful. None of these blushes are going to be too overpowering. I guess I'll swatch the buxom one so you can see. It's the one I didn't swatch. This one is definitely much more pigmented than all of these. You like the saffron one? Okay, let's find it. Sassy saffron. We'll put that one on. Let me wipe these swatches. <laughs> okay. This is like a cream to powder. It's really nice. So, on this cheek, 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 Excellent. What I love about coral blushes is that they tend to give you almost a bronzy look without having to use bronzer. Okay. And lips. So we have Huda Beauty yet again. This is Honey Bun. It is like a pinky coral. Love her lipsticks. This one is her cream lipstick, which again is super creamy, super glossy. Then we have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Sexy Sienna. Gorgeous. A bit brighter, very fun. And it is a matte. And then we have this one here. This is tinted, live tinted, in the shade Balance. It's one of the hue sticks. And that's what that one looks like. Different shades of coral, basically. You want to go for the brighter one? Let's do it. So I'm going to line your lips with a Charlotte Tilbury Love Trap. That's what it looks like to kind of balance it out. So, okay, just relax your lips. Okay, good. Lining, 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 lining. Lining your cupid's bow. And I'm just filling in there. Sienna. Okay, pucker up. Now I will say because you have a very bright and clear complexion, illuminating primers would look amazing on you. Skip the matte. You honestly don't need this is the primer. This is from Rare Beauty. And I wear this under makeup. Or you can actually mix it with your foundation. But it leaves such a beautiful luminosity. Honestly, you could wear this alone. You have such a beautiful complexion. But it is stunning. So there is that. And for highlighter, you want to go with something warm. So this is Natasha Denona Face Glow in Cream Shimmer, but the color is medium beige. And it is a We 
we also have this Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. Again, it's like a warm champagne. Almost rose gold. Would complement all the peachiness. So we may just do that. And then this is a cream highlight from Rare Beauty as well. In the shade Transcend. It's another rose gold. Very stunning. We're going to go with the Charlotte Tilbury one Using a highlighter fan brush Okay, we're just going to dust this on the tops of your cheek Dust it, dust it, dust it on the tops of your cheeks On your nose, nose, nose Keep it spell Perfect I feel like I'm super glowy myself today Love a good highlight. And you are done. How do you feel? I know that I gave you quite a bit of information, but I have printed out doubles of everything. So I'm going to send you off with all the information. I do not want you to be super overwhelmed or have, uh, you know, any questions. But if you do, of course you know who to come to, but I don't want you to leave even more puzzled. So, do you have a good indication of what colors suit you best? And do you understand all about the seasons? Perfect. Excellent. So, you're going to look amazing with brighter contrasting colors, Love you in the beaches, the corals, the salmons. Love you in the Kelly greens, the spring greens. Again, think spring. Okay, all of the like pure colors, the pure purples. Um, nothing too diluted, nothing too rich and too dark, uh, and nothing too dull. Okay. Excellent. So... I look forward to hearing all about your new wardrobe capsule. Again, if you are stuck in any way, send me some pictures. Um, if there's any questions that you have about a certain outfit, again, let me know. I'm here. I love to talk about all things style and fashion, so it's no problem. Absolutely. Okay, well, it was such a fun experience. I hope that you enjoyed as well. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, I hope you enjoy your new wardrobe. And again, take everything with a grain of salt. You know yourself best. And as long as you're feeling confident, then you're looking fabulous. Bye-bye.